right, listen, I know Modern Warfare 2, I know Warzone 2, they haven't been in the best spots lately. But I'm not gonna lie, bro, they just released one of their best bundles yet. So this right here is the Tracer Pack Cyber Riot. And I know you guys can see this, but it literally comes with a Damascus operator. And to be honest, there are so many bundles that I just haven't bought in this game simply because they're just not good. You also get a weapon variant for the MP7 as well as the M13, and both come with purple geometric tracers as well as geometric deletion. So you literally just delete the enemy. You turn them into pixels. So this MP7 variant reminds me of one of the character skins they released in Warzone 1. Let me see these tracers real quick. Oh! Put down below and drop a like on the video if you guys need this bundle. Alright, I'm about to delete every enemy I I see. I didn't really change up the class setup at all because I just wanted to use like the default attachments. Oh my god. Oh, that death effect is so good. What the? I guess I deserve that. Like I mentioned, man, Modern Warfare 2's like bundles have not been good like at all. This is just one that I had to cop because the death effect is amazing. The tracers are amazing. But I don't make videos on like every single bundle I see anymore just for the plain fact that not everything is good in this game. Be like, you know, give you guys false hype. Okay, there we go. Got a quad feed. Nice. So back in like Black Ops Cold War, I used to make videos on a lot of the bundles. Granted, the bundles were completely better than the ones that we're getting right now in MW2. Like the cosmetics and the blueprints back in Cold War were amazing. The tracers were amazing. The master crafts were awesome with the whole unique inspection. So I used to make videos a lot on like bundles and whatnot in Cold War. But I haven't really done that that much in Modern Warfare 2 because everything has kind of just been so lackluster. So it's kind of nice that they actually released something good for once. I hear this guy. Oh, he's got the same bundle as me. He's got the same character. Character. I look behind us. Oh, wait, I have an advance. Wait, why don't I use my... Bro, I've been so used to X Defiant, and there are no kill streaks in X Defiant, so I've just been like... <laughs> I've just been not using my kill streaks, bro. Oh my god, I'm deleting everyone. I'm actually so close to a nuke, bro. What? Wait, I am... Oh my god. What are we doing? What are we actually doing? Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, I do not want to die right now. This guy is the same freaking bundle. He's right here. I'm about to drop the nuke, bro. I'm literally... Oh! He spawned right there. I didn't even have time to react. So one of my subscribers actually just tweeted me, which if you guys don't follow uh, me on Twitter, it's just at right away. Elon Musk uh, just took away my real verification check mark, So I don't have a check mark anymore on Twitter. Yeah, one of my subscribers just tweeted me and reminded me that Infinity Ward was basically going to change the whole like blueprint system and basically make it so if you buy a blueprint and then change the attachments that it comes with, because typically attachments that it comes with will be the only attachments that look like the actual variant or blueprint itself. So they were going to make it so if you changed any of the attachments that came with the variant, it would still keep the whole same design and same blueprint variant. Even on the new attachments that you would put on after you create a class. And that's just gone. Like, literally, that whole entire system is just completely... What the flip? Yeah, that whole system of, like, keeping the same design on every single attachment for whatever blueprint you buy is just completely gone. I'm not going to lie, bro. This black gold map map is fire, but I hate the night vision. If this map had no night vision and it was just like a daytime version, this map would be probably a top three map in Modern Warfare 2. And I'm not even like lying to you guys. Like I I'm being serious, but I wanted to just see the death effect in black gold with the night vision. It actually looks so clean. Like, the layout of this map, I want to know like what it looks like. I want to know like the colors, like the colors of the buildings and everything like that. I just hate the night vision aspect, man. It like just ruins the whole entire map for me, really. And, oh, God. This map has, like, amazing flow. And that death effect looks clean. Oh, my Lord. Pop this UAV real quick. We're gonna try and push their spawn. Wait. Wait, where did this guy's... Is that a guy? I honestly... I almost didn't see him. I swear I almost didn't see him. Wait. I can't, I, I can't see half the people on this map. No, people would get mad if they just released a daytime version of this map and called it Black Gold Day. Like, pulled the Black Ops 4, added Seaside Sunset. But to be honest, bro, I'd probably be really happy about that update. There's a guy here. UAV in this sector. First off, this guy doesn't even have his night vision goggles on. Yeah, I wouldn't even be mad if they dropped a daytime version of this map. I would actually be really happy. It would be better content than what we're getting now. The fact that I killed that guy, I I, can't, I couldn't even see him. I couldn't see him. 
God, I wish stim shots did something more in this game. Like, it gave you a, an even better speed boost or something. I think that'd be so sick. Oh, my lord. I almost just died. I have no idea where these guys are. Bro! This guy doesn't even have his goggles on! And then he put them on. What are we doing here? Bro, that was absolutely insane. Like, genuinely, I'm, I'm, I'm staying still. Like, I'm, I'm. Oh my God, that was one of the craziest nukes I've ever had to get. So I came across a stupid new glitch. I don't even know if this is real. You will see. Right now, I have like 150, 160 frames. I'm trying to pull up the scoreboard. It goes down to 80 frames right there, and then if I move, it's like down to 60. I can't even pull up the scoreboard, and it's just making my game lag. So that's a new glitch in Modern Warfare 2. This game will always be broken. But that nuke was just, oh my God, I was hit firing more with the MP7 than I was ADSing, for sure. Like the hit fire with this thing's actually not bad. Like it's, it's genuinely not. Just get off me. Thank you. What the f what the flip? Collateral. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. I am with you. Also, I made a video yesterday talking about how X Defiant is away, and I am uh I'm kind of missing it right now. I really, really enjoyed the X Defiant beta, man. That game was something special. I hope the full release of the game is somewhat soon because. I, I need that in my life. Definitely gonna be missing uh, X Defiant a lot these next few weeks, months, however long it takes to come out. I don't know. I assume they're gonna have an open beta for the game uh, before the official release. That would kind of make sense. But you know what? I definitely am missing the game and I hope it comes back soon. Um, Should I just call in like all of my streaks? I guess I can. I just wanna call in this nuke. Thank you. Hit firing with this MP7 is actually like insanely good what literally just hit fire with the mp7 and you're golden i guess i'll dial up the digits call in the nuke bop 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 but i love this pistol so much oh there's the nuke fellas let's go i'm literally just deleting enemies on this game still can't pull up the scoreboard look what my game is doing i'm trying to pull up the scoreboard 
just doesn't work. And this, this game is horrible. There's just no scoreboard at all. Like I said, man, I'm not going to create videos on every single bundle that drops in MW2. But if they do release a cool one like today, you know, something unique, like, you know, the tracers and like, you know, the character skin, I'll go ahead and make a video because it's cool. And I still like cool content. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. I will see you next time.